Help your G5 twin run at peak performance by following these proper care tips. Always perform a bench test to establish a baseline. If it is necessary to use an extension cord, use only 10 or 12 gauge cords to reduce voltage drop. Never restrict the airflow to the G5 twin. Ensure there is always clear space around the machine. Always use 3 8 inch hoses for full flow during recovery. 1 quarter inch hoses are highly restrictive and should never be used for recovery. Make sure to remove all restrictions for recovery. Restrictions include core depressors and valve cores. Ensure the inlet filter screen is clean, along with any inline filter dryers. Using a new inline filter dryer will protect the machine from debris and contaminants in the refrigerant. Liquid refrigerant is up to 300 times more dense than vapor, so always recover liquid first, then vapor for fastest recovery. Fully open the tank valves to further reduce output restrictions and avoid damage to the output gauge. Periodically run a cap full of refrigeration or vacuum pump oil through the machine to help recondition the seals. With the machine running and both valves open, allow the oil to be drawn up through the input fitting. Catch any excess oil with a rag under the output. Be sure to do this after recovery of burnout systems. When storing the G5 twin, it is important to open both valves. Trace refrigerant vapors can wear on the seals if the valves are left closed for an extended period. By following these proper care tips, you can help keep your G5 Twin performing at its peak.